Wow, wow, wow. Okay. We've got a year and a half of this. Now, I'm not going to be subjected to, because I don't have a TV, and I've not watched mainstream media news in years. I do subscribe to some of them just to keep my pulse on what is the latest and greatest farcical lie from mainstream media. But I came, I came, I came across this, and I, you know, don't you think that just looking at that would be enough to wake up the American people, flip that critical thinking switch in their brain, flip it up, get them to start realizing that something is wrong with this picture. Don't you? Look at this. You know, we are such a joke of a people. This goes on endlessly. It's absurd theater. These people are actors. Now, let me just stop for one second. And I'm going to omit Ben Carson from everything that I'm saying. As far as I'm concerned, he's in a separate category. And I think Ben, even just looking at this, and he in the middle there, with all of these dudes around him, if I were Ben Carson, I'd be horrified to see my picture next to Chris Christie and Mike Huckabee and Rand Paul and Jeb Bush. I, I, would, I would be, oh God, am I really doing this? Am I really jumping in this race? This race is ooh, pretty stinky. So everything that I've heard from Ben Carson and everything that I know about him, I respect him. But it's unfortunate that we have gotten to the point where, and I'll speak for myself, everybody has a question mark now over their head. See, that's what psychopathic, narcissistic liars do. If they're not held accountable, more come out of the closet, and then you got a whole sea of them doing the same old bullshit, and they tarnish the good people. And, and they ruin it for the good people because when these people just keep lying and lying and lying and lying over and over and it goes on endlessly, well, what happens is you get to a point where you can't trust anybody. So I apologize, Ben, for putting a question mark over your head, but that's just the state of the American country today. That's, that's where we're at. But I think that you should be in Jeb Bush's place, not Jeb Bush. But anyway, so you're out of the picture. You, you stand alone. Jeb Bush? Front runner? Really? For the 2016 GOP presidential nominee. That's based on a CNN poll. All right. I know. I know. I know you all know that all of this is staged, that polls are fabricated, just used to manipulate those Americans who still don't think they're still sitting there lapping it up, mainstream media, watching it, you know, <laughs> refusing, refusing to even engage in conversation, the willfully ignorant, uh-uh-uh, don't want any of that truth stuff. No, I can't stand the truth. Are you kidding? No, I'd rather listen to the lies. I'd rather listen to the bullshit. I'd rather listen to the entertainment as the country falls and crumbles around me. Because I'm still comfortable sitting in my chair watching mainstream media. Christ. Okay, anyway. I'm 56 years old. I've never been polled. And I used to ask people if they were polled. And I have yet to hear a yes for any poll that was ever conducted. I have yet to hear from anybody that has been polled. All right, so we know that, that polls are just yet another lie that we've got to just swim through. But that we're actually doing this again, another presidential race. Holy shit, are you kidding me?
with Jeb Bush the front runner. This in itself should be the wake up call to every American to get them to realize that something's wrong with this picture. How is it that we can't get rid of these people? We can't get rid of these people because they are selected. We don't elect people here. We don't have a free election here. They're selected by CEOs and bankers and the elite and the globalists. We, the people, are irrelevant. We're even worse than irrelevant. We've become obsolete. They just perform this absurd theater for those Americans still not thinking. And unfortunately, that's the majority of the Americans, not the minority. So they put on these performances for them so that they can sit back and watch it on mainstream media and actually think that they participate, that somebody was polled and, and Americans, 23% of the 453 poll want Jeb Bush as president? How could any American want a Bush as president? That's frightening to me. How could 13% how could of 453, that's a really, really, really low number, but how could anybody, anybody want Chris Christie, an unbelievably corrupt moron, bully for the highest office in the land. Mike Huckabee, back on national stage. Mike Huckabee, are you kidding me? Oh my God. And Rand Paul. Okay, I know that a lot of you probably like Rand Paul. I don't. I think he's a turncoat. You can, you can just stick in the search bar. We are changed, Rand Paul. You'll come up with these videos. Watch them. A couple of years ago, Man, he was dead on. He was cool. He was talking Bilderberg. He was talking truth. And he was answering questions. He was candid. And then something happened, and he flipped. Then he started dodging the question. Then he started running away. Then he went mute. And he endorsed Romney. I'm sorry. This guy, I don't trust at all. So these are the candidates, and these are the people that are going to be parading for a year and a half, or a year, or however long, whenever they pick their nominee in front of the American people. Again, it goes on endlessly. It is shocking to me that there are still Americans who are so Un, they're, they're caught in this matrix, cemented in it. And many of them refuse to come out because, well, it's just, it's easy to just stay the same, to never grow up, to never really become an adult, to take no responsibility, never hold anybody accountable, just sit back and just lap it up. That's easy. As far as I'm concerned, those people should not ever be respected by anybody. It is a disgrace that we still have Americans who are just, it, it, they, they refuse. They refuse to change. And by God, do we need change. We're in such big trouble. And these are the people, omitting Ben Carson, these are the people that they're parading out. Wow. I don't know what any of you think. All I know is that I feel like I'm in permanent shell shock. I, I just, I, I'm amazed that our country is, you know, in the garbage. And the lid is just about on that garbage pail, and it's going to be sealed up. I mean, we're, we're in such deep trouble, and people are still thinking that things are okay. We're still doing the same old crap. I mean, look at these pictures. It looks like they're all, you know, in their high school yearbooks. 
it is, <clears throat> I, I, what do you say anymore? What do you say? I have to post these videos because you know what? I'm sitting here alone. <laughs> I need support. The only way to handle the insanity is to find like-mindeds and, and rant and rave together. Jeb Bush, front runner. This in itself should be the wake-up call to every American to make them understand, okay, mainstream media bought and sold. That these people never go away. That makes it very obvious that something's very wrong. I hope you have a nice night. Ciao, guys.